Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a Sena 30k mesh intercom system. As you can see, if I try to turn it on, it's completely dead. Even if I keep it on the charger for hours, nothing happens. So I assume the battery is dead. So let's get started and let, let's replace the battery. So all the tools you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a tiny one, it's some kind of prying tool, plastic one is preferred not to damage the case, and some kind of prying tool with really thin blade. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is remove this little PCB here, and how you do it, you have to put it underneath this little board, this is a PCB, put it in and then just carefully pry it out and as you can see it's coming out and that's it. There is a tiny connector here and this pin goes in, this header goes into these pins. So this is the first step and then we're gonna need the screwdriver and remove all the screws there are two different sizes of screws there is this slightly bigger one with a bigger head most of them are these here in the middle and there are two tiny ones here in this hole and here Okay, now that all the screws are untightened, we have to separate the two halves here, but it will not come apart as you can see. At first you have to open the, the antenna here, open it up, and it will still hold in as you can see. This jogging encoder is still holding it in. So what you have to do is now you need some kind of plastic praying tool. You put it in in this in this gap, and then you pry it open. And now it's separated. So as you can see, this hole was basically on this little encoder head. So this is what you have to separate. And now we have a double layer PCB, there is this top section and one at the bottom. Uh, you again need the prying tool, put it in here in this direction, because there is a connector here. And then carefully pry it. And then it's coming up. Be super careful, because in this corner there is this antenna connector here you just have to disconnect it so this is the top PCB and this is the bottom PCB and there is the battery here so now we have to remove the battery at first we have to disconnect it carefully it's out and carefully, super carefully, pry it up. You can also use ca some uh, alcohol here underneath to release the glue. And be super careful not to use anything which which might puncture the battery because this is a lipo battery because which might catch on fire and this is super dangerous. So use something which is not that that sharp. So then. Pry it up. So as you can see there was some glue here. And that's it. Here is the replacement battery. I ordered this from, from AliExpress from China. 
you can tell it has the exact same dimensions so it should fit nicely you should apply some double-sided tape here to fix it inside you do not want this to shake all around so I just put on a small piece to the bottom and just glue it in and then you have to reconnect the, the battery it's a quite tight fit then let's put back the board so the first thing is to connect the antenna here to this pin just put it on it and just gently press on it and now put it back to its position align the connector with the header and just press on it and now we should be able to test it so you press down on this pin here and on this one and as you can see it's turning on perfect let's turn it off okay So let's put back the, the front frame. You want to, we have to align a little bit the, the antenna like this. And then press on it. And let's put back all the screws. So as I told, the, the smaller but long ones one of them is going to this to this hole here there is cavity and the other one goes here and the rest of them is quite straightforward okay and the last thing is putting back this little PCB you have to align it as you can tell one of these corners is cut it off and here you have to align it with this little notch here so this is the direction and you just press on it and press into this into its cavity and that's it and you are done as you can see it's turned on perfectly fine so that's all it's super simple everybody can do it you only need a few tools super basic tools a screwdriver and some prying tool and that's it and you are good to go and then let's turn it on and as you can see it's on Okay guys, that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.